good friendly competition. You like debating. No, no. <laughs> Seems like it's going to have a lot of yelling. It won't have a lot of yelling. But we are going to play a, what we call an all play game. It's for everybody. It's called Last Flop Standing. Now, for this game to work, I need someone to volunteer to be our official timer this evening. Anybody willing to uh, time us? Nope. Everybody's like, everybody's like, what is time? What is this time you say? Oh, got it. You got us, Paul? Okay. So, this is a debate game. We're going to get a topic from you to debate. And someone will start to talk about that topic. At any point, someone else can say, mm, it has to be recognized. I will hear what they have to say. And if I think they're right, I will wave them into the game and they'll take over. Let us flop standing at the end of four minutes wins. Simple as that. But we need something interesting for them to debate, right? Otherwise, it's just people talking. We can hear that on TV. But you came out to the ink tonight. What ridiculous, and I mean it can be a downright stupid thing. Would you like to hear us debate? Flat Earth. Say again? Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Thank you. I think that's great. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. Um, we're gonna debate we're gonna turn this in English now. Gibberish is my native language. We're gonna debate this topic of is the Earth flat? Like flat Earth is right. And uh, Brandon, this is your debut show. Why don't you start us off and Paul start the clock when you press. Five, four, three, <laughs> two. After though the Earth is flat, my it's a dinosaur. Why happens to the dinosaur? The meteor. If you have the flat Earth, the dinosaur run this time, the meteor hit the Earth and then boom, it's been and all the dinosaurs out in the atmosphere. They're all gone. If the Earth was flat, my cat would have knocked everything off of it by now. <laughs> That's true. That's so, true. I don't know if there's any cat owners in the audience tonight. Oh yeah, I've seen four of them. But you cannot like have shelves that are over a foot high in your house. Anything taller than the cat is subject to break at any time. Good showers. Um, the Earth is flat. I have been on an airplane. I have looked down said airplane window, and everything was flat. There was no. That's true. She has been on an airplane. That's I true. mean, you walk outside, you're not going to go over the edge. They keep saying science, science. But what is the science? Do you believe in airplanes? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she, did, she does believe in airplanes. Airplanes exist. I was in one. I was also just in an airplane uh, skydiving, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, you can see that the Earth had some curvature to it. It was like I mean, Moon. Hey, he's too young to be looking at curves. Yeah. That's true. Uh, that's true. true. There, there's a certain age that the Earth is an old lady. I mean, <laughs> you, you got to grow up before you start handling those curves. <laughs> Worm hammer just does not have the experience. We need to not secularize Mother Earth. She's a fine woman. Now we really should. Uh, yeah. I, I have a water. Um, it's a, women are sexual too. That's true. I don't really want to compound on this right now, right here. Yeah, you clutched in. But I'm just saying, like, to sexualize women is to take their sexuality away. And that is a crime in itself, sir. We will be in charge of the raping, okay? <laughs> You're not off yet. I don't think I really need to say much more. I mean, we have power, we have body. No, no, she needs to say more. I said, that's true. But now you're up. Right. <laughs> All right, so this no, is no, how no. it works. He was right, so now he's up. Yeah, I'm right, but you need to stop it. Because oh. we need to go, but I was right where we need to go. So he's wrong now. Okay. Now he's wrong. Now he's wrong. Yeah. I mean, you just, these youngins, you can't teach them anything, especially now to teach to a crowd. Talk to a crowd. All of his talking points have been that I'm young. You are young. <laughs> I mean, I can't help it. I can't make him over. I can't make a little potion. But I think we should go back to the original point that the original milk is in that color of earth. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm going to let me go. Yeah, I'm going to let me go. I respect all mothers, and we are absolutely just completely just, just objectifying our mother mother earth. Flat, big as fuck. It doesn't matter what our mother earth is, okay? The important thing is that we protect it. Okay, and have you seen what, how we have been treating our mother? There's like pollution 
pollution. Yo, Gab. Yo, it's my Gab. Everyone's talking about that. That pollution is making Mother Earth hotter, which makes her more of a melt. No, I'm serious. Have you ever poured out a liquid? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what shape? Does the liquid create when you pour it out? Is it a ball? No. no. It is a pancake, flat like the earth itself. It's not always a pancake. It's true, it could be a waffle. Yeah, it could be a waffle. And I like to say that waffles are just pancakes with abs. And we all know that the doesn't have any abs. Come on, guys. The earth is round. It's just showers. Politicians have said that the earth is flat. I mean, if politics, have. we can't trust our politicians, who can we trust? <laughs> and that's time in. Take your showers, please. Oh. I hope you've learned a lot this evening. Right? Yeah. Who knew? What's that mouth? I'm joking. <laughs> uh, who introduced that term? <laughs> I think it's 